Hi there, and welcome to this eSeller webinar. Uh, we're looking at uh, Click to Chat, the ultimate uh, online sales tool. Uh, my name is Paul Skeldon. Uh, I'm one of the editors on eSeller, uh, not Dan Matthews, as my name appears on the screen. Um, and we're hearing today from iAdvise, um, who are going to talk us through uh, some examples of how Click to Chat works um, and where it's been successful and how it can be really used to uh, business advantage. Then touching on some of the sort of key performance indicators you should be looking out for uh, and then offering some strategic uh, advice uh, on how to sort of implement it and make it uh, make it work. Um, on the webinar, we have Miranda Hobbs, who's Marketing and Communications Manager at iAdvise for the UK market. Uh, and sitting uh, quietly beside her is Geoffrey Thomas, who's Performance Manager um, for uh, Key Accounts, who's uh, really here, I think, to answer some uh, sort of any of your strategic uh, questions that you might have. So I shall hand you over now to um, Miranda, who is going to uh, conduct the presentation. So Miranda, over to you. Um, so today we're here to talk about how to optimize click to chat as an online sales tool. Thank you very much for, for choosing to attend the webinar. Uh, as, um, as Paul said, I'm Miranda Hobbs. I'm in charge of marketing and communication for the UK market and Joffrey is also here with me. So Joffrey's part of our professional services team at iAdvise and his role is really to, to ensure that the businesses we work with get a real return on investment from their live chat project. Um, just the first question, the poll question would would be just ask you simply if you've implemented a chat solution on your website, do you use live chat on your website um, either as a customer service tool or a sales tool? That'd be great, you could just answer that. Um, I just wanted to give you a quick introduction of uh, who we are. Um, at iAdvise, our ambition is to add a human touch to online customer service, which we feel is often too impersonal, and to really create value for you and the visitors on your website. Um, we do this with real-time online customer service, which is really at the heart of what we do. Um, according to research by eConsultancy, 83% of consumers require some degree of customer support while making an online purchase. Um, now, ideally, you can give them that, in, that support there and then in real time. Um, live chat really meets three expectations of online consumers, uh, which is speed, cost, i.e. none for the online consumer, and it's really simple. So the way we go about providing real-time online customer service is well, with a solution and with an expertise. Um, our cloud-based solution consists of click-to-chat, click-to-call, and click-to-video on all devices. Um, and well, these channels are combined with a sophisticated behavioral targeting engine. Uh, we also have the expertise, which is entirely focused on optimizing your use of the solution and of the targeting strategy. My advice can help companies achieve online sales objectives, which is what we're going to focus on today, but it can also um, be part of optimizing your online customer support by improving customer satisfaction. So that leads us to the second question I'd like to ask you today, which is, do you, if you do use uh, live chat, do you use it primarily for sales or for customer care? Generally, it's a bit of both, but what is your primary objective with customer um, online chat? This is a quick overview of the, the companies we work with um, throughout Europe, but also in the UK. Um, we work with a variety of, of different industries, including uh, here you see retail um, and travel, but we also work with banking and insurance um, companies. So now um, I want to give you a quick insight into the success stories of our clients that have used live chat as an online sales tool. Let's start with Air France. Um, we've been working uh, with Air France now for about one or two years. Um, obviously, Air France is the French flag carrier and is a subsidiary of the K Air France KLM Air, um, group. Um, now, they uh, offer live chat support for uh, their online visitors and customers throughout Europe. So on the French website, but also in the UK, in Northern Europe, Spain, Italy. Um, their objectives with live chat was originally to offer online support in real time, to add a human touch to online customer service, and then more tangibly to improve first contact resolution and increase customer satisfaction in online sales. So how did they go about to achieve these objectives? They had obviously resources, which were, was a team of multilingual agents uh, based in France and in the UK, and they're chatting Monday to Friday, uh, eight hours a day, 
uh, they also also all received a, a one hour training to the live chat solution to make sure that they optimize their, their usage of it. Um, the strategy was to offer live chat support on the contact us page for customer support, but then also throughout the checkout process um, to help customers complete their online purchase. And other results. So Air France um, achieved a 93% satisfaction rate for visitors who chat on their website. Uh, and more importantly for today, they also achieved a, a they click to chat and managed to increase the average order value by 35%. So that means that the average order value or average basket value of people who chat uh, on the Air France website is 35% higher than those who do not chat. Now I wanted to mention a B2B example. Uh, we, we work with Monster Worldwide. Um, so they're a global leader in successfully connecting people with job opportunities. Um, and they do that also via their online website. So that's monster.com. Um, their objectives were to provide uh, recruiters with specific information advice, um, but also to improve customer satisfaction and increase online sales. So they had different resources. They had um, a group of uh, live chat agents for different European websites. It started uh, in France and then in the UK and uh, in Germany also. And they dispatched the conversations that arrived on the, uh, the recruiter's website of Monster to agents who, that were most skilled to answer those uh, issues. Um, ClickChat is targeted at recruiters on the website who are new to the website, who have not been before. Um, and then there are also proactive invitations who are sent to interested recruiters. Now, the results on Monster um, was a 90% satisfaction rate for recruiters who chat. Um, so just a quick quick uh, explanation of what satisfaction rate and how we measure that. Um, after a chat, you can decide to send a satisfaction survey to uh, the visitor, who can then decide um, to what extent they, they're satisfied with the live chat support they received. Um, and then they also managed to increase the conversion rate uh, for recruiters who chat. So the recruiters who chat uh, were 10 times more likely to uh, convert into customers than those who did not chat. And then I also wanted to mention a, a slightly smaller client that we work with. Um, so they're retail, but they have a very important e-commerce website, and it's Great Art. Um, Great Art is the British branch of the Gerstecker Group. Um, they've had 50 years' experience in distance selling of art material. Um, and today the group is European lead in this sector with 50,000 shops throughout Europe. So they sell uh, throughout Europe as well, um, in France, uh, Germany, uh, the Netherlands, Italy, etc. Their objectives was to improve customer service and the online experience, but then more tangibly to increase conversion rate and increase average order value. So the, result, the resources they had was a, a team of agents, not only handling chat, but also phone and email. Um, and then all agents received a chat and a product training session to make sure that they really met customer expectations. And um, the strategy was to implement proactive chats for visitors with a certain basket value. So, for example, only visitors with more than 150 pounds in their baskets um, would be targeted with live chat. And as a result of this strategy, um, they managed also to achieve a satisfaction rate of 90% for visitors who chat. Um, and they increased the average order value for visitors who chat by 30%. Um, so they were very happy with the results that they achieved with click to chat and they still chat today. So now we're going to move on to the, the key performance indicators to monitor if you also as an e-commerce business are aiming to use click to chat as an online sales tool. Um, uh, obviously companies do not monitor the same indicators. This depends on the sector and the activity. Some companies are more focused on turnover. Others find it more meaningful to look at um, average order value. Um, here's a, this is an overview of the most important KPIs. It's not an exhaustive list by any means, but um, I think it's probably a good start. So the, the key indicator to be concentrating on is obviously the conversion rate. Um, the, um, the conversion rate is obviously the, uh, uh, what is going to enable you to, to find out what percentage of, um, of online visitors are on your website are actually converting into customers. Um, so um, so if we have, for example, 
this is obviously the goal that they're achieving. So you might have uh, this goal on your website might be to um, uh, it could be to download load an app, it could be to fill in a form, it could be to sign a contract. It's basically a customer action that you valued um, as key for your business. Uh, in the context of click to chat, obviously the conversion rate is a percentage of visitors who complete their purchase after a chat conversation. Now we calculate this thanks to a tracking code, which will detect whether a visitor who has chatted does indeed go on to buy after that chat conversation. Um, and it's really by providing online support in real time, in the right place and at the right time, that live chat can reduce basket abandonment and consequently increase the conversion rates. So with the strategic advice of I advise experts, uh, e-commerce websites that we work with achieve an average conversion rate of 19% after a live chat. Now that's about 14 points higher than the average conversion rate in the UK, according to IMRG, which is around 4%. Um, and again, this depends very much on the sector and varies from an average of 10% in the luxury sector to 35% uh, for niche retailers, like, for example, I don't know, fishing equipment or online pet stores. Um, another question we wanted to ask is, uh, and you should be thinking about as well, is uh, how long does it take your visitor to transform? So this is what we call the transformation time. And this is the length of time between the chat conversation and the purchase. Um, again, this information is gathered thanks to a tracking code, which is generally effective for 48 hours, but this depends on the industry. Uh, for example, in the travel sector, the tracking code lasts for much longer, up to 30 days, because well, the buying cycle is much longer. So this is something that can be adapted as well. Now, another key in, uh, performance indicator is uh, average basket value. Um, now, the average uh, can be called average order value, average basket value, average cart value, um, or simplified as AOV, uh, indicates how much people spend on average after a chat. So this varies significantly depending on the sector. Uh, again, IMRG figures show that during the 12-month period from July 2013 to June 2014, the average basket value was about £80 in the UK. Um, now, businesses that choose to implement a chat solution for sales often monitor the average basket value after a chat and compare it to the global average, average order value on the website. Um, and this will enable them to calculate the average basket value increase. Um, it's really by interacting in real time with visitors who are at a strategic stage on in the checkout funnel that your customer support agents who have received training and sales techniques uh, become product specialists and can suggest other products that complement what is already in, in that basket. Um, now, we've realized that the average basket value of visitors who chat is twi more than twice as high as those who don't. Um, so uh, it, it really shows that uh, by targeting the right visitor and in the right place at the right time on your website, you can uh, give them strategic advice to increase their basket. And I want to um, insist on the importance of behavioral targeting. Um, websites which implement a targeting strategy observe an average basket value after a chat contact, which is 182% higher than the average basket value on websites with no targeting strategy. So again, targeting the right visitor at the right time is key to increasing average order value. Um, now I'd like to focus on turnover and incremental share. Now, as a business, when you invest in this kind of project, um, some of the key questions you'll be asking are, um, how much is your business making with click to chat uh, How much are you spending? Are you satisfied with the return on investment you're achieving? And how do you know this revenue is additional? Now, monitoring turnover and incremental share is what will enable you to answer these questions. Um, the turnover is the global amount your business generates after chat conversations over a certain amount of time. And thanks to this KPI, you'll be able to calculate the ROI of your click to chat investment. Uh, now, businesses also monitor the turnover per hour, as this enables them to compare the efficiency of this channel compared to others like email or call. Um, now, we believe that this kind of project is really about how much you're making uh, with click chat and not about how much you're, it's costing you. Um, when you're looking at the turnover after a chat, you might question, how do I know that this visitor would not have finished the purchase anyway, um, even without that live chat support? And this is where incremental share comes in. Um, now, we go about calculating incremental share by comparing the conversion rate of visitors targeted by live chat support and the conversion rate of visitors who seize the opportunity to chat. Um, so this is how we're able to, to calculate incremental share, which is uh, the percentage of transactions after chat which would not have taken place without live chat support. So the incremental share based on iAdvice leading e-commerce clients is 62.7%. Uh, so this means that out of 100 sales after a live chat, 
nearly 63 would not have taken place without that live chat support. This leads me on to the, the final question I'd like to ask you is, um, are you satisfied with the return on investment you achieve with your online support channels? So this could be chat, this could be a click to call, um, and it could also be email. Um, and then finally, there's one KPI that obviously is key, um, but is even though it's not completely related maybe to, to online sales, and that's customer satisfaction. Um, a happy customer is always more likely to buy and also more likely to buy again to come back to your website. Um, indeed, research has shown that 70% of customers will do business with you again if you resolve their complaints. So providing online support fast and for free and in a simple manner is key to, to providing customer happiness and ensuring that that customer will come back and, uh, and be loyal to your business. We've, uh, based on our clients, uh, so those are our e-commerce clients and those that actually track customer satisfaction, so who send out the customer satisfaction survey after a chat, um, there's a global satisfaction of 89%. This means that out of 100 vi online visitors who fill in that satisfaction survey, 89% of them say that they are satisfied or very satisfied with the help they received. And now if we move on to the, the final part of this uh, webinar, which is the strategic advice that we, that our performance managers here at iAdvice uh, would give you if you are, as an e-commerce business, wanting to uh, optimize the use of click -to chat as a sales tool. Um, and we've also got a few tips for your live chat agents as well. So the first thing um, when you're deciding to use click -to chat as an online sales tool is obviously to define your objectives. Um, so your objectives could be uh, com completely care related, but they could also be uh, focused on sales. Um, it could be slightly more precise. For example, you, your, your objective is to increase conversion rate or to boost average order value. And then they could also be extremely precise. For example, uh, when you implement live chat, your objective is to achieve a conversion rate of, let's say, 17% 17, 17 after a chat. Keeping those objectives in mind is obviously uh, essential to, to finding the right strategy and, and then coming back at the end of the project and seeing if, if you've uh, been successful in achieving those objectives. Um, the next important thing is to uh, map the online customer journey. Um, and this involves analyzing the browsing behavior of users on your website. So identifying key steps and possible critical situations where you could lose uh, users. Um, it could, could be, for example, on the personal information page. Um, don't forget to take your visitors' needs into consideration. What are their expectations regarding online support? And also, once uh, click to chat is up and running, you can also use the solution to diagnose reoccurring problems on the website. Uh, this is an important step towards increasing your conversion rate, understanding the reasons which lead your visitors to abandon their baskets um, in the first place. So maybe it's your delivery terms and conditions, um, maybe they're not meet meeting expectations, uh, there could uh, be a usability issue with the personal information page, or maybe there's a lack of online customer support. Um, and that kind of drawback may very well put an end to the stay of that visitor on your website. Um, so giving them the chance to voice their feedback via live chat is one of the first easy measures you can take uh, to knock down the barriers that they're facing. Now the next key part of this is defining a, a targeting strategy. Um, an efficient behavior targeting uh, strategy is the key success factor to ensuring uh, your live chat solution becomes an ultimate online sales tool. It is all about interacting with your online shoppers in the right place and at the right time, and also via the right channel. This is how you will personalize the customer journey and ensure that the visitors who get real-time support are those who will really benefit from it. So um, I'd like to insist also on the importance of personalization. Behavioral targeting is comparable to the knowledge and experience of a shop assistant um, in your maybe your, your local grocery store. They know your name, they know what you're likely to buy, and they also know when you need help. Um, they know when interfering is probably a waste of everyone's time. This is exactly the knowledge which customers appreciate and is one of the reasons they don't go to the supermarket where their journey is much less personalized. So it's with behavioral targeting that live chat appears at exactly the right time, giving the information needed and thereby preventing the visitor from leaving the website. With a well-trained customer support agent, the deal can be sealed and the visitor will leave satisfied with the purchase and impressed with the customer service you've provided. So when you define your strategy, you should be asking three questions. The first would be, what is your target audience? Uh, what kind of contacts do you consider quality contacts? 
what you need to be doing is creating a list of qualitative criteria. So that could be uh, the profile, it could be the basket value, the amount of pages that the visitor has been on on your website. And then you need to assign a value to each criterion. So uh, chat with visitors, for example, who have a basket value which is uh, more than £120. Or uh, send a chat invitation to visitors who have been on this page for more than two minutes. The next thing you need to be doing is asking on which pages will live chat appear. Um, so obviously if you're aiming to use click to chat as an online sales tool, then you need to be putting live chat on pages which are key in the purchasing process. Uh, and you'll have this information thanks to the analysis of your website. And then you'll be asking what form you want this live chat inter interaction to take. Um, you may decide to program a chat button to appear reactively on the page, somewhere relatively discreet, like in the bottom right hand corner. Um, this leaves it up to the customer to start the chat conversation. Uh, but you might also go for a more proactive approach with a pop-up chat invite. Um, this kind of interaction is obviously more obvious and requires a decision from the visitor to accept or decline. Uh, most of the time chat buttons are implemented on a reactive mode, so the first case. Um, proactive chat invitations are adapted to critical decision-making moments where there is a high abandonment rate. Uh, which you will have identified during the analysis of your website. Uh, obviously with the proactive invites, the response rate, so that's the percentage of visitors who accept the chat invite, is higher uh, than with a reactive approach. Then, once you've implemented this strategy, and it's obviously essential to monitor the efficiency and impact, the frequency of this monitoring depends on your business size, your human resources, uh, but daily, maybe weekly or monthly with a performance manager, uh, you can uh, monitor the results you've achieved and adapt the targeting strategy. You can also export all these reports uh, in a CSV format to facilitate sharing with your team and comparison. <clears throat> we just mentioned the key performance indicators which enable you to assess how well the solution is doing on the website globally. Uh, but you can also look more closely at these KPIs for each rule. For example, you may want to monitor the average basket value or conversion rate for one specific targeting rule. Um, and then also, obviously, key is to optimize the strategy and adapt your team. Um, you will constantly improve the targeting strategy, but also the, the website in general, thanks to live chat feedback. Uh, depending on a sector, you may also find it relevant to adapt your strategy and the size of your team, depending on the time of year. So we've noticed that our clients are during the Christmas period or during the seasonal sales. Um, they've had to adapt the size of their team and also the strategy because the traffic, the honor traffic on their website is so different. Um, so this also means you have to adapt object objectives, rules and the resources. And now we had a, a few kind of uh, tips for your for your chat agents uh, from Charlene, who is uh, on the bottom right there. She's our uh, head of uh, live chat agent training uh, at I Advise. Obviously, the the one key thing is to increase your average speed of answer. What you need to keep in mind is the first answer you give to your online chat visitors is. Uh, within 15 seconds and no more. That's really important to give them that first good impression of, of the speed of uh, support that they're going to get with uh, click to chat And then with the other, the next messages that come after that, you need to be focusing on never more than 45 seconds. That's really the maximum. And the way you can go about doing that is um, with canned responses. So that's uh, responses that you use on a frequent basis that you've saved within the solution and that you can use, for example, at the beginning of a conversation or it could be a, uh, it could be a set explanation of what your product, the advantages of your product. But we would you know, warn not to overuse uh, these uh, canned responses because visitors pick up very quickly if, uh, if uh, the responses feel too stale or too uh, formal. Um, but they can speed up your speed of answer. And then also you need to be using word completion tools, so that will um, also, that means you're starting a word on the live chat and then it will give you all the different uh, answers or words that you've used in the past um, also to speed up. And then key is to remain alert and reactive throughout the live chat. Um, as a, using live chat as a sales tool is also about facilitating your visitor's purchase. Um, so we would advise to send links and special offers. Um, discount vouchers are a big incentive for online shoppers. So when you provide online support via click to chat, 
and make life easy for them, your visitors, and make sure they know about the discount uh, vouchers that are available. Uh, you're, this way you're facilitating their online purchase and the decision making process. Uh, ensure your agents are always aware of the different special offers uh, that are available and save them within the solution so they can easily send them during the chat conversation. Uh, likewise, your agents can send visitors links to products which complete what they already have in their basket. Uh, so if sent with the rights, all these elements will remain visible for the visitor throughout the chat conversation in a little window just to the left of the chat window. And then as a sales uh, agent on chat, you also need to be thinking constantly of the complementary products. Um, and that pretty much uh, really brings us to the, the end of this webinar. We just wanted to finish with the, this is the, what the iAdvise tool looks like from an agent's perspective uh, with the chat panel in, in, in the center there and the different uh, uh, conversations that appear at the bottom of the screen. Um, iAdvise is a sophisticated tool. Uh, we've mentioned the different targeting rules that you can set up with iAdvise, but that doesn't mean it's not simple to use and user-friendly. Um, in fact, 95% of, of agents who use iAdvise on a daily basis say that they really enjoy using the tool. Um, that's all from me today, um, so I'm going to pass that over again to Paul. Thank you very much for, for attending the webinar, um, and if you have any questions, please feel free to email me, uh, Miranda, or we've also got a, a general address there, contact-ukiadvice.com. Thank you very much. Great stuff. Thank you very much, Miranda. That was uh, very interesting indeed. Um, got a couple of quick uh, questions. Um, I guess we'll start with this one. Um, is it suitable for any size business or is there a sort of lower and an upper limit to, to the size of company that could implement this sort of solution? Uh, well, it's Jeffrey here. Um, about the size of the business, there's no, uh, we can adapt to uh, uh, the activities of the, the agents, for example, in small businesses, as uh, uh, multi-channel activities for the agent, uh, they are having uh, calls, uh, inbound calls, and uh, also mails, and uh, chat is only uh, uh, a small activity for them, it's uh, when uh, there's a conversation coming from visitors, uh, whereas in uh, much uh, bigger uh, companies, it's uh, full activity and uh, they uh, uh, they only uh, do chat and it's uh, full time activity for them. So uh, we have uh, several uh, type of uh, businesses and uh, it uh, adapts uh, the agent uh, adapt to uh, uh, the uh, inbound. Uh, uh, flow of uh, conversations and chat conversations definitely we work with them um, we work with very small businesses especially when we set out our advice has kind of grown with the, the different uh, types of companies we work with we have very small uh, companies with one agent access only and then that goes up to an unlimited amount of, uh, of agent accesses for example for Air France which is one of our, our bigger clients so there's no limit really to answer that question Okay, so one one person could, uh, you know, a one man band running his own company on his own could, in theory, use this as well. Oh, definitely, yeah, yeah. It's 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 very much adapted to small businesses. Um, as I said, the tool is user friendly. You don't need to be a call center to to use the tool at all. Uh, right, I had a que another question here from one of the uh, attendees, uh, Lee Preston. Uh, he wants to know how does it work for B two B business without full e commerce capabilities. Um, so, well, as I mentioned, the, the monster example, we also have other clients that are B2B. Um, sometimes um, their objective, uh, so the, the way they assess the conversion rate is not um, an online sales, but it could be, as I said, like signing a contract or filling in a form, and that's how they'll assess the conversion rate, and that's often the case with B2B. They use it as a lead generation uh, tool okay. and a way to generate. So yeah, use I think I think what Lee wants to know is how how can it sort of be applied if you don't have full e-commerce capabilities? Is it is it still um, something that can be used by businesses who aren't completely sort of uh, running on uh, an e-commerce setup? Um, well, as as the example is, uh, uh, if we work to B two B, I mean, we don't uh, in the B two B context. You mean so people who would example uh, who would have uh, some kind of online store, uh, and then they would also I, have. I the guess business. I guess in any context, it's, it's sort of it, how does it work if you haven't got a sort of full e commerce setup, or is it is it only something that can be used if you're you're uh, selling sort of predominantly through the web? You have to have a full e commerce setup really for this to to be applicable. 
Um, we work with lots of different clients who have shops and also have the the web, so it's the, that you are not fully e-commerce. Um, but then it could be just an online support um, a facility as well. You don't need to have your visitors actually buying on your website to be able to use live chat. But then again, that depends on the objectives you've set. Are you using live chat as, as an online care tool or is it for sales? Okay, great. And uh, also, uh, oh, yeah. and for, excuse me. Um, also, uh, where well, then uh, some clients don't have uh, an e-commerce uh, uh, website, but uh, they use it uh, to uh, uh, get information for from the visitors and then to escalate on uh, another channel sometimes, and uh, uh, it's uh, used as uh, lead generator, and then uh, so sometimes they get uh, to uh, contact them uh, through phone and uh, uh, where the uh, the B2B uh, has uh, more uh, habits uh, in, uh, in this kind of channels and it's used uh, to get in touch uh, with uh, uh, a first step with uh, the, the visitors. Right, great, lovely. And uh, we have a question from Jonathan Hamer. Uh, how many chats can an agent manage at any one time? Yes, uh, the, um, the maximum of, of uh, chats uh, which can be handled is uh, six, but uh, uh, it's uh, it has to be a full activity, full time activity in order to handle six. Uh, the uh, average uh, chat uh, handled is about three or four, uh, three to four uh, maximum. Um, we uh, have uh, also an experience uh, curb uh, in uh, chats. So the first uh, week uh, we only treat. Uh, one uh, chat at a time, and uh, then uh, uh, the agent can uh, um, improve their performance and uh, improve also and uh, get to have more and more uh, chats uh, simultaneously. But uh, it uh, depends on the time they are spending on the solution also. Great. Uh, and one last question. Um, you mentioned about using it for reactive and for proactive uh, chat. Uh, a proactive chat, that's quite a difficult thing to do. How and where should you use that? Because obviously this is going to be sort of slightly intrusive to the customer. How should you make the sort of decision as to when to use proactive chat? Yes, uh, proactive chat is uh, sensitive, so uh, we don't use uh, it uh, often. Uh, we uh, use it only when the visitor is uh, about to, uh, for example, leave uh, the, the cart and... Uh, uh, go uh, to the home page or when he's, uh, uh, he has started to order on the website uh, uh, I priced a product and uh, then uh, uh, he's going back in uh, the funnel for example. Uh, we only use it uh, uh, in several key points on the website uh, but uh, uh, it's not displayed as much as uh, a reactive uh, mode. Uh, it's uh, a, a lot uh, lower uh, that, uh, uh, than the other one, than the reactive one. But uh, the response rate uh, when we use uh, proactive mode is uh, much more higher than uh, a reactive mode. So we only focus on the uh, on the key uh, uh, key. Uh, journey. Key, uh, yeah, the key customer journey of uh, of uh, the website and. Uh, only focus on certain uh, uh, journey. Great, lovely. Okay, well that uh, brings us uh, to the end there. Um, thank you very much, Miranda. Thank you very much, uh, Joffrey, for taking part. There's some really interesting thank stuff. Thank you.